Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia photographer, and I'm about to make a video about taking my camera, this one, down to the beach to do a wildlife photo shoot. Actually, I'm probably not gonna go all the way to the beach, but I'm gonna walk down the, the nature trail between the Hotel Shanna in Manuel Antonio, Costa Rica, and the beach. There's a, a small section of woods that you have to walk through to get there. So let's do that. I'm going to take this and this DJI Osmo Action, and this is going to be kind of a sort of a review of using it as a vlogging camera. I'm not going to like go through all of the menu options and all of the possible ways of using it. I've literally got it set on 1080p, 24 frames, and I've got rock steady enabled, and I've got like the wind noise reduction turned on, so because it's a little bit windy outside, and I'm just going to use it as a vlogging camera. So come on, let's go. Okay, I've come outside and I've literally stripped this Z50 down. I've got the Z50 with the F to Z and the 500 millimeter uh, face resonal lens, Nick or F mount lens adapted, you know, through the F to Z adapter. And I've got it stripped down to just what you gotta have to take photos. So this should be an amazing bird rig. It's an equivalent field of view of about 750 millimeters. And since it's a 21 megapixel crop sensor, it's got a higher pixel density than my Z6 in full frame. Even with, nah, listen to all this echo. I bet this is terrible. Plus my exposure looks crappy. Let me get out of this echo chamber. The camera adjusts exposure based on your face. See there, it fixed it. Okay, I am heading into the woods, but they're, they're pretty well manicured. And they've got a nice little gravel trail down to the beach. I can see the ocean right down there, so it's not a long way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find some birds to photograph. It's actually really cool. It's not hot here at all. I'm liking that already. It feels much better than it did out on a balcony. It was hot there. So hopefully I'll be able to find some wildlife. They're talking about maybe sloths and uh, two cans and all sorts of stuff so we'll see what we can scratch up but part of this is me using the video camera mode on this and seeing how well rock steady rocks and it's to be a simple small lightweight video rig and being able to vlog a little bit but uh, the z50 does exceptionally well for vlogging Oh, I think it was a leaf. But the, there's times when I don't want to take that camera. It gets to be, oh, it was a lizard. Oh, really? It sounded like a parrot. We've seen scarlet macaws and parrots. A lot of green parrots. In the mornings, we see them a lot. Ah, man. These creatures blend in so well. Here's something I just figured out. Check your camera settings before you embark on it. I got some beautiful photos some kind of little birds i don't even know what they are but the iso was at like 43 million so because of that they're all muddy i don't even think topaz can fix this stuff it looks bad they're just they're just a mess so i've got the camera readjusted for daytime i got what i think to be a keeper How's this thing handling the dynamic range problems? Because I'm walking in and out of shadows. There's a lot of little birds here, and there's, of course, we're in Central America, so the, ooh, I gotta get this one. Hold on just a second. Tiny little songbird that's right over here, and I'm trying to get a, a better shot of him. I got a good one, but I want a better one. I'm getting greedy. But he's, he's real cute. He's really in a big hurry. 
so I was, I was lucky. He moved into kind of like a fairly well illuminated location on the tree and my ISO shot way down for just a minute and I snapped about four or five photos and one of them looks really good. So I'm gonna see if I can catch him again. A little closer, I've moved down about two meters, about six foot and got a little bit closer. So let's see what we can do from here. He's right over here in this area. He's just right over there. And all I'm doing is literally carrying the Z50 in my hand with the FTZ and 2 to 500 just snapping photos offhand. The image stabilization is that good. So, yeah. Oh, oh I moved back. I done spooked him. There was a, a bird flew through the sun and it was completely orange. I think I got a photo of it, but it, from a different spot, but really brightly colored. The birds here are just really unique. I mean, you don't see anything like this back home. So I got a whole catalog of birds that I don't even know what they are. <laughs> it's kind of neat to, to get to see this kind of wildlife. And I really haven't been looking for like the sloths. We keep seeing the scarlet macaws in the mornings real early. They'll fly through two and they always fly in pairs. Two, this morning there was four. There goes somebody hiking on a hiking trail. Um, next resort over has got a trail to the beach too, I see. But, but yeah, I can't never get a photo of them. I got a photo of them on the tree, but a huge tree limb was in the way. And then... I got a picture of the green parrots. There's a bunch of green parrots every morning. So it's really cool just to see them. Them green parrots are loud. They just carry on the biggest ruckus. So maybe I'll film that in the morning and get y'all some footage of it. But the howler monkeys, the locals, the Costa Ricans call them roosters because they start howling about 4.30, 5 in the morning and howl till about seven. And honestly, when the conquistadors came through here, I'm assuming, I don't know, I have no basis on this, but just based on my interaction with the howler monkeys, the first time you hear one of them howl, you're thinking, yeah, there's a demon down there in the forest. You don't want none of that. It just sounds freakishly creepy. So, oh man, there's a bunch of them. Oh, they're getting wound up now. I don't know what's got them started. They're all crazy. All right, let's get some more photos. All right, I've made it down here to the beach and uh, the trail comes out of the woods right there. This is the beach. It's pretty crowded. There's more people here than I thought. Well, maybe the swimming pool at the resort ain't such a bad idea. <laughs> There's a lot of people here on this beach and it's in a little alcove. So who knows? I'll show this to Teresa and see what she thinks. But there's a bunch of people here. All right, I've come back up from the beach because there's no birds at the beach. I'm gonna see if I can find some of these out here chirping like mad over here. Get a few more photos. Then go back and edit this footage and see what I can get with it. I think I got my keeper. I caught this uh, little yellow breasted something or another on the tree limb about i don't know um guessing about 20 feet away from the trail with the 500 and the z5 z50 it's like a 750 millimeter lens with a 21 megapixel sensor basically and so the resolution is really good so i got me a keeper plus i got this other little tiny bird with a little it was just flittering around. I got a photo or two of it. And there's another one. It's way off on a limb, but I got that one too. So I got some cool photos. But 
The little video camera seems to be working really well, I think. I'm kind of liking this little camera. It seems to work really well. This might push me back to an action cam for a vlogging rig. It actually works much better than I thought it would. Thanks, Aaron. But, oh, seems to be performing well in the jungles of, what do you call this, Costa Rica. <laughs> it's got good weatherproofing. I like the way they've sealed the battery. It seals to the casing, but it's not like, it doesn't have a door like the GoPro. That's kind of neat. Whew. Let's see if I can show you. These white trees you see in the background are balsa trees. They grow every, they grow wild here, of course. They, they grow everywhere here, but uh, certain animals like to live in the balsa trees, so you kind of scan them in particular, but I've made it almost back up to the resort. It's right up there, and I got me a bunch of good photos, so curious to see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull them out of the camera into my iPhone, edit them in Afterlight, and then I plan to build the video on my iPhone later today. So I'm curious to see if I can do the whole thing from remote with a action cam, a snap bridge connecting to the camera, and upload it to the internet and see how it goes. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And until, and until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you later. Good night.